Hello friend, Beechard Moorfield here. Welcome to Make It A Great Day. That's exactly what I want you to do. Make it a great day. You know, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter uh, 4 verse 16 that under the direction of Christ, uh, He has made the whole body to be fitted together, to be perfectly joined together, each part in its own special way, helping the other parts to be what they need to be. That's what we are. We're, we're all parts of a whole. The, the whole, as one person put it, is greater than the sum of its parts. It's called synergy in many circles. Uh, you know, one goose can fly quite a distance by itself, but if you put a, a flock of geese together, they can fly over twice as far, much further in a single flight than they can alone. And the reason is because together you have one goose out front and the other geese are drafting. They're, they're, the one in the front opens the way, as it were, in the air and creates an open place for the others to fly. Life becomes much easier when you're part of a team. So let me say this to you. I am only one, but I am still one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. So many people look around and they see, well, I, I can't do much here. I can't do much there. Uh, and, and because I can't do a lot, I won't do anything. Well, the point is, if everybody would do what they could, then what needs to be done would get done. And things that need to get done that aren't getting done, they're not going undone because someone won't do it. They're going undone because one person can't do it all. If we'll come together, we can accomplish something great. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 32, 30, How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them and their Lord had shut them up? There's an exponential factor there. If one, as one person I heard say years ago, if one person can chase a thousand, then two can put ten thousand to flight. It's an exponential empowering. What is it that you can do today that no one else can do? Who do you know today that you can speak a word of encouragement to that no one else can? Who do you know today that you can help in some way that no one else can? Who do you know today that can help you in a way no one else can? That one person could be key to your success. You could be key to their success. What am I saying? I'm saying that each one of us has a role to play in life, particularly if you're a Christian. God has an intended purpose for you in this earth. And when you will give yourself to that purpose, you can become a part of something far greater than than you are. I made this note that I'm part of something greater than me. The, the, the whole is greater, as I said earlier, than the sum of his parts. Romans says no man lives to himself. No man dies to himself. We're in this thing together. We need one another. So I'll ask you again. What is there that you need to do today that someone else can help you achieve it more easily? To, at a greater success rate, at a more excellent manner. Who do you know that you can help do the same thing? Maybe a small thing. You may be aware of someone who needs more than you can give. But if everybody you knew were aware, and each one did what each one could do, is it possible that you could provide what that person needs? No, I'm not talking about just making life easier on someone else. I'm talking about taking your place in the human race, doing what you know you can do when you have the opportunity. One person has said, if you always do what you ought to do when you ought to do it, the day will come when you will be able to do or when you can do what you want to do. Uh, I like that concept. In fact, I've tried to live that way. I've tried to do what I should when I should so that the day would come when I can do what I want to do when I want to. I'm just about there. 
Can't do everything just yet that I want to, but I'm a lot closer now than I was a few years ago. You can be the same way. What can you do to help someone else? What can you do to make it easier on someone else? What can you do to help someone else succeed? What can someone else do to help you achieve the same results? Remember, we're in this thing together. None of us are in it apart. I'm Beecher Morfield. Make it a great day.